Season of the Haunted Deep Explorer Armour Initial entry matches the Guardian's description. A theatre? Psychometer is picking up weird background noise here. Hidden Mindscape Expedition First Transmission We've progressed into liminal space. Corridors folding on each other. Psychometer is spiking here. Are we sure this is safe? Hidden Mindscape Expedition Second Transmission Found a hallway, full of statues of Callus in various states of dissection. Sobbing noise coming from the walls. Hidden Mindscape Expedition Third Transmission Psychometer says we're reaching dangerous levels of cognitive saturation here. We need to pull back. Hidden Mindscape Expedition Fourth Transmission Wasn't the exit this way? Hidden Mindscape Expedition Fifth Transmission When I was young, I dreamt of a greater life. Grand aspirations, grand imaginings. I looked back to the myths of our people's past to draw inspiration and shape a future that was yet unwritten. I saw possibility, boundless and unending. My focus was wide, beyond the horizon, to tomorrow's tomorrow. Until that day, I held the tiny hands of my newborn daughter for the first time. She crawled into my brood pouch, smaller than a finger, helpless and blind. I was her entire world for eight extraordinary weeks, as her skin hardened and her eyes developed. She nursed, grew strong, and slept to the sound of my heart's beating in time with hers. I did not see her mother for those eight weeks. She stood watch outside my nursing chamber, and her ceremonial vigil honoured our family and house, the old ways made manifest in tusk and steel. It was a pride unlike any other. None would threaten me, our newborn daughter, or her future's future. My focus changed over those weeks, and with it, my dreams, narrowed down to the size of my thumb, my grandest inspiration, I needed no other. But my momentum faltered over time. I first noticed it when my daughter was old enough to walk on her own, then again when her tusks were sharp enough to defend herself. Day by day she grew, and piece by piece I lost myself, and when she was no longer there I felt a great absence, greater than the sum of her parts. I indulged myself in this sensation, until the day I became lost in such a hollow feeling, and I let the void in my chest consume me.